Hi, I'm Edward. And I'm Nora. And welcome to EN Anime Bits for just a tidbit of anime information. Today we're reviewing the film Robotech Love Live Alive, comprised of both old and new footage from the series Maspita and, um, hmm. Maspita, oh, it was Maspita and Southern Cross that they pieced together in this one, along with new animation, which I found a little distracting, but not completely unwelcome. I thought it was really good. I thought they could have used more Dana Sterling. Yeah, but you know, it was really more about Maspita. No, no, I, I, they, they kept saying that there's gonna be more Dana Sterling than they lied. They had like, what, one new shot of her? It was two new shots. Ooh, two new shots. Anyways, I thought this release was good for the older fans. I think new fans could find some appreciation from it, but in order to get the full experience of Robotech Love Live Alive, I think you'd have to have watched the entire series. Yeah, but I think new fans could find some enjoyment of it, despite the fact that this is pretty much the last episode of the original series. I love how that directly leads right into Robotech Shadow Chronicles, but um, Robotech Shadow Chronicles, that's an other episode altogether. Do you think we should do a Robotech Shadow Chronicles episode? Uh, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to sit through that. I liked it! I thought it was okay. Okay, well, um, back to Ro Robotech Love Live Alive. I, um, I, I thought it was, I thought it was really pressing I would watch it again because I am a longtime fan. As am I. I would totally watch this again. I would totally buy this one. Uh, as much as I do think that new fans could get some enjoyment from it, I don't think this is the this would not be a good way to introduce yourselves to the Robotech world. I suggest getting the complete box set from A&E. Wow, pretty cool. cool. How's that for first episode? Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>